Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So let's get straight to it with the questions and answers. I had two questions that were the most asked and not only in this video, but in many of my other videos. So the first one is, why did I start an OnlyFans page? So the reason that I started an OnlyFans is because I've always had this side of me. I've thought about starting something like this before, but I was always too caught up in what people would think, what they would say. I mean, even in my videos, some people really don't like what I wear they think I should wear a certain dress code or something else but I'm totally past that now I'm just being me I will always be me I mean I remain true to myself and now I have a platform where I can do that and that's totally separate from my YouTube channel so if you're interested the link is in the description down below as well now my second most asked question is how do I afford my cars now I've answered this many times before I even made a video and the answer is still the same now one thing that I do want to clear up is that not all of the cars in the garage are mine my cars are the the Shelby G350, the Camaro ZLE, the Hellcat Red Eye, and the Toyota Camry, even though I don't think you guys are asking how to afford the Camry. And like I said before, the answer is still the same. I still do have my full-time job, which is my main income. I've been in the IT field for eight years and I'm a systems engineer. That's what allowed me to get my Shelby G350 and start this channel and also allowed me to afford my Camaro ZLE. Now, all of that money that I've gotten from the channel, I've reinvested into parts into these lifts and then over time it also allowed me to afford my Hellcat Red Eye. Now I don't only have this channel, I also have my Spanish channel, I also have my brand Driven Fast. So I have other things that also bring in income and I don't just rely on one source of income to be able to afford this. Still doing your full-time job and how many hours are dedicated to your channel and other sites? So yes, I'm still doing my full-time job the past month has actually been pretty hectic because we've acquired two new clients. So it's taken up just a lot of my time integrating them and then just so many projects going on. That's why there's been a lack of videos, but hopefully that's going to slow down soon. And then I can start putting out more videos on my channel. But on the daily, I mean, I have a pretty hectic and weird schedule to begin with. I start work at 3 a.m. I do work part of the weekend and sometimes a video takes too long that it's already 3 a.m. and I just need a sign on to work or other times I just get very little hours of sleep, maybe like one to three hours. I know this is horrible, but I mean, I enjoy what I do and I enjoy being productive. Are you still thinking of getting the C8? Yes, I'm still thinking of getting the C8. Not the Stingray, it's the entry model, even though it's good. I've seen the spy shots of the 5.5 liter, either Grand Sport or Z06. So that's something I'm interested in, or even the ZR1. So I'm just waiting for them to come out with other models, other trims, and then I'll get my C8. What are things you enjoy doing other than cars? Well, one thing that has to be my absolute favorite thing ever is just outdoor activities i enjoy anything that's outdoors i'm not sure if you guys can see this beautiful scenery behind me the desert the mountains i absolutely love arizona for that the surrounding states just the west coast in general there's so many mountains so many so much of the scenery that i can just go hiking which i love love hiking whether it be by myself or with my dogs i mean i just like clearing my mind and doing that i mean in florida i had beaches other than that there's not really much so i do like the diversity the change here but that's one thing that i would rather do something outdoors than i don't know go out to a club or something who or what motivated you to start a car channel here on YouTube? And also, how do you record two videos at once for your English and your Spanish channel? So like I said, good question. Now, before I had my Shelby, I had a Mustang GT and I started making videos on that car. I was too shy and I never posted them on my channel. So then I thought to myself, you know what? Once I get my Shelby, I'm going to post those videos. I'm going to make videos with that car and post it on my channel. No matter what, shy or not, that's exactly what I did. The main point was just to start documenting the process with all the modifications that I had planned to do to it. Now, the second question is, how is it that I record two videos at the same time? Well, it's simple. I do two takes. I first record 
record in English and then I record in Spanish. I know that some people think that I do a voiceover for Spanish, but no, I do two takes. English and then Spanish. Another question is, when will the Shelby GT350 be back on the road? Now, I've answered this before and the answer is still the same. I don't know, the engine is still with RPG and they do good work, they take their time. I know they also have many other things going on so I'm not going to rush them. But as soon as I get that tracking, you guys, I will let you know, so don't worry. Will I paint the Camry? Yes, I will paint the Camry. So I'm thinking of just sticking to the same color. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm leaning more towards that one. Now, am I myself going to paint it? I think so. I've never done that before, but I would like to get the experience of that under my belt and, of course, start with this car. If you can describe your cars in one word, what would it be? It's actually a really good question. So for the Hellcat Red Eye, powerful. Camaro ZLE, precise. Shelby GC350, pure. Toyota Camry, authentic. Will you add a classic car to your collection? Yes, I plan on adding classic cars to my collection. So ideally, it would be the top three, a Challenger, a Camaro, and a Mustang and the years would be from 69 to 70 so that'll be some time from now on but that's the plan what car is your daily driver so ever since i moved to arizona a little bit over two years ago i've been fortunate enough that i work from home so i don't really have a daily driver but the car or truck in this instance that i drive the most is the raptor simply because it's already here out on the driveway it's easy to get to instead of moving all of the cars and i mean it's comfortable it's spacious i don't have to worry about any bumps on the road plus i get to take my dogs in this truck which i do that a lot do you have kids or do you ever plan on having any kids of your own no i don't have kids and i also don't plan on having any kids of my own just because honestly kids aren't for everyone and i'm one of those do you see yourself driving any amg in the future I wouldn't mind an AMG GTR or a GTR Pro, but I mean, one can dream. I'd be happy with either one of those. What are your plans if you do plan on getting your Viper in the future and what kind of build would it be? So for those of you that don't know, one of my dream cars is the Viper ACR. I would love to have that car, hopefully one day. And I wouldn't do anything. I know it's not something that I would typically say or come from me, but that car, it's just so perfect. I would just leave it like that. Do you drive your car to the track or do you tow your car to the track and does the track charge you to run your car at the track? So I currently drive my cars to the track. In the future, I do plan on getting a trailer and then towing them there. Although we would have to get another truck because the Raptor is ideal. It could tow, but it's not ideal. And ideally, we would want to tow two cars because the idea would be to travel to other states, other tracks, and do so that way. And yes, the track does charge for you to run your car at the track. It all depends really on which organization, which track, and if you wanna just run one day, two days, or they even also have a special if you wanna run like the entire weekend, for instance. So I would suggest to check your local club that you have to become a member of, and then that way you can get pricing that way. How did you get into the car scene? Well, this was since high school when everyone started getting their cars so like junior senior year I just always kept it to myself because at least back then it wasn't like the girl thing to like but as I grew older I was always around individuals that liked cars and worked on them so I just let my interest take hold it evolved and then that led me to getting my first sports car which was a Mustang GT and ever since then you guys know what kind of relationship do you have with your neighbors with all those large cars? Well, a neighborly relationship? <laughs> I honestly don't know how to answer that. So I, I only have two neighbors, the closest one. So I have one towards the left, but he's on the opposite side. So the garage is completely away from, from them. And they know that the cars are here and they hear them once in a while, but they don't really complain. I also have a neighbor that's front, but it's more like diagonal. 
and again they don't complain they hear the cars and sometimes when Corey has his cars here then <laughs> they do come up and then they just ask oh what's the new car on the driveway this time would you consider racing the ford against the chevy yes i would consider racing the shelby gt350 against the camaro zle at the track and by the track i mean the road course so i'm thinking it would have to be the same track and then me against myself so i would race the Shelby GT350 for one session, get the best lap time, and then drive the Camaro ZLE for one session and then get the best lap time, and then there would determine the winner because if I do it me against someone else and it's different skill set, so I'd rather just have it the same track, the same driver, the same skill set, and then that would be a good race. Do you play or like video games? If so, what platform? So yes, I play video games, not that much, so I only play sometimes just because I really don't have that much time to sit there for hours playing. I have my Xbox One and I play Forza, so that's the only game I play in my racing simulator chair, which I completely love. That's about the only track time I think I'm gonna have for a while. Okay, that's it for this Q&A, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did answering your questions I always like making these types of videos because they're different and you guys get to know me a little bit better rather than just the same videos of me working on my cars or going to an event now you know me a little bit more personally so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one